today's floral nail art design may look like a stamp, but it's done with a thin art brush and is inspired by Lucy's stash. You'll also need a makeup sponge if you want to do a gradient background like I've done, and two shades of polish along with a white. For the gradient, I'm starting with my lightest color already on my nail, and I'm taking that makeup sponge and just rolling it across my nail. I reapply the polish after I've dabbed that onto two nails so that you get a nice, fresh application on your nail. My nail looks really greasy, that's because I applied cuticle oil first to my cuticles to help with the cleanup process. With this color, I ended up doing three applications with the makeup sponge to my nail. I'm using a Q-tip to do the first little bit of cleanup, and it just has some acetone on it, and then I go in with my art brush and clean up the rest of my cuticles. To get that floral pattern on your nail, you're going to start by creating the base for the first flower. Add an X to your nail with a thin art brush. I'm using my white polish to create that X. Once I create the X, I add one more line down the center of the X, and this will give you a six-sided flower. Continue adding more flower bases to your nail, have them connect to the previous flower on your nail, and remember they don't all have to be the same size. Using your same thin art brush and that same white polish, you're now ready to start building that floral shape. You'll see I'm taking my art brush and just adding a curved line on either side of the initial line that I added. In most cases, I'm just adding one line on either side. There are some of the bigger flowers where you'll see I add a few lines. If you get any polish on your skin, don't forget to go back and clean that up. I did the same pattern on my thumb and I added some gems to the center of the flowers. I didn't really like the look of it, took them off and added a dot. Same thing. I just prefer the design as it is here, so I didn't bother doing that on my fingers, but that's up to you if you want to add that step. For my accent finger, I did a white base for the flowers near the base of my nail. You'll see I do them in the lighter blue, and near the tip of my nail I do them in the darker blue, and this just gives that same gradient look. You could do this on all of your nails, or you could do the other pattern on all of your nails, or you can mix and match like I've done here. Once you've finished adding the flowers to your nail, allow everything to dry fully, apply your top coat to protect your design and give it some shine, and you're done. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you liked the video. Please comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated.